Hello lads and welcome to this. We have just hit 1500 subscribers. This means the world to me. Thank you to everyone who subscribed, liked. Now there is a giveaway and I'll announce that in my next video. I want to you to watch this video. Please like and subscribe. Tell your mates about this. First of all, thank you for Louis Cleo for letting me do this. He's a really nice guy and a very good player and my inspiration. Um, for football and as he's my position as well in football um, so thank you to Louis Coyle, what an inspiration and yeah please enjoy the video let's try and get 50 likes we've never hit 50 likes in the last year or so so let's try it, thank you again, enjoy it so thank you for joining me Louis who was your idol growing up as your right back slash right wing back who was your idol? Um, to be fair, I wouldn't really say it was a defender. Um, I, think, I know it sounds a little bit cliche, but I think David Beckham would have been my really? idol growing up. Um, even though he sort of wasn't my position, he was down the right. Um, but he sort of inspired me as a, as a young boy playing football, and, and he was sort of the one I looked up to. Really? Also, thank you. Um, um, another another um, league player, fullback, funny enough, came on loan a couple of seasons ago in our promotion winning season to League One. Are you hoping your loan spell at Fleetwood will run the same way as Charlie Taylor's? Now, he was in the starting 11 for Leeds for about two or three years. Now he's playing nearly enough every week for Burnley in the Premier League. Yeah, no, Charlie did great. And, and Charlie, to be fair, was an influence in why I came here. Um, I spoke to him as soon as I knew Fleetwood's interest um, in getting me here on loan. I spoke to Charlie and, and he had great things to say about the club, about the people, about the way the club's ran. And, and as I say, he was an influence in me coming here. And um, you only have to look at Charlie's success here and what it led to. Um, and hopefully, as I say, if I can follow in Charlie's footsteps, then it'll be a good, it'll be a good thing for everyone. Brilliant. Um, best ground you have played at? Now you've played at some cracking grounds in League One, but you've played at some with Leeds, so what would you say your favourite ground is? Ooh, good question. Um, good question. Um, I think it'd have to be Brighton's ground, Brighton Hove Albion's yeah, ground. Yeah, very good ground. It'd have to be that one. Um, um, when signing for us, did the training ground stand out when you were mega factors? Yeah, definitely. I uh, drove up the day before I signed for Fleetwood for my agents, and um, and straight away driving up the drive, I thought, wow, this um, it doesn't sort of seem to be a, to be a League One uh, setup. It looked a lot higher than that. And as I said, um, you only have to look at the facilities around us at, at Pool Foot and here. And I mean, for a League One club, it's um, it's surreal. So fair play to the chairman and to everyone else who sort of made that happen. But no, the facilities are top notch. Um, you play in two kind of different positions when you've come. Which one did you prefer? The right wing back where you could attack a bit more, or the right back where you're a bit more defensively in the four three three. Um, I'm, I'm more natural and I say by trade I'm a full back, a right right full back but it's nice to be able to adapt and, and play different positions but I've enjoyed playing wing back early on in the season and then the manager's changed it and we've gone to a four but either or for me as I say if we're playing a 3-5-2, three, 3-4-3 three, 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 or, or as I say four at the back it, it doesn't really make no odds to me, I enjoy playing both. So when, when we went on, uh, we didn't win for a few games, how did you like, get, get, get going and then we got this like couple of good, good wins at Bet Oldham and Berry, then got set back at Bradford, but we went straight back against Leicester and got an amazing result. Then we won at South End last week. How did like that turnover change? Was it the formation change? Was it something something that was said to you, something in training? Well I think it's a, a combination of things really to be fair. I think um, the ultimate thing it comes down to is the people in the changing room, it's in the staff, the um, the lads, it comes down to everyone just knuckling down and sticking together and knowing that it will turn eventually. I mean, you can't obviously soak and you can't, you can't be down on things. You've just got to stay uh, stay focused and hopefully things will turn around and they have done for us. So far in your career, because you're quite a young player, what's your best achievement in your career, would you say? Um, again, it's be a bit cliche, but I have to say my debut. Um, I think as a young lad growing up, I think your debut is always the one thing you want to do. And unfortunately, I made mine against Nottingham Forest away um, for Leeds, which was only two minutes, but it seemed like 20. So, But no, I'd have to say that. Yeah. Um, um, what is your footballing goal like? When you look back, when you retire, uh, what would you like to say? I've done that and I've played there. Uh, growing up as a kid, it was always to make my to make my debut and playing at Ellen Road in front of a packed house. And, and unfortunately for me, I've done that. To say with a lot of hard work over the years, I've I've uh, been able to make that happen. But looking back, I just want to have a successful career, get a lot of league games under my belt, and, and hopefully many promotions along the way. Um, on Tuesday, we saw VAR news for the first time, yeah. and my my view on it is. I think it'll help football, but it's like Uwe said on Tuesday night, um, it's taking away the beauty of it, like the key decisions about what we go to work for and discuss. What's your opinion on it? Um, listen, the game's always changing, the game's expanding and every year. Of football, something new's come in, and I think we've just got to learn to adapt to these things. I think, as I say, the hierarchy of the, of the Football Association and, and people who bring these, these things into play, we've just got to respect that. And, 
and we've got to move forward and just get on with it and see how we go. Brilliant. Um, and the final one is, what's your aim for this season? At the minute we're sitting, I think it's about 12th in the mid-table, which is good. We had a good season last year, but I expected to mid-table. What is your aim for the season? I was brought in like for Paddy, um, Di Guerrara, um, get, get in as well. I think from, from, as I said, day one, when I came into this building, the aim was always promotion. I mean, uh, Fleetwood Town had a brilliant season last year, maybe overachieved in some people's eyes, but Absolutely. that then set the platform for um, for this season. So we're still, we're, we're still looking up the table rather than I miss that opportunity the final one. Um, how is the ambition compared to other clubs? Like, what is the difference between Fleetwood Town playing in League One to Leeds? Is there a massive difference in the league between... Because in my opinion, I think Championship and League One is a big difference. If you go to the likes of, no disrespect to their fans, but AFC Wimbledon, and then you're playing it somewhere like Sunderland some, some Newcastle last season, is that big difference? Yeah, I mean, Leeds are always known for, for having a huge following and uh, all the history they've had over the years again. Um, but it's been a nice change to come to Fleetwood, such a sort of um, a family feel club. Everyone's yeah, sort of got each other's back. And listen, obviously, maybe Leeds and Fleetwood might be on different scales in terms of fan base and all the rest of it, but it's still got that same feel and, and everyone wants the same thing. And the ambition is. Yeah, and it's a very ambitious it. club. I mean, you only have to look at, I think it's something like six promotions in 10 years. That speaks for itself. So. Yeah, twice, yeah, exactly. So as I was saying, no, um, both clubs are very ambitious, both hungry, and to be fair, both changing rooms I've been in, I can't, um, I can't say a bad word about anyone. So thank you for joining me. No uh, it really means a lot to me. So no um, thank you. And yeah, yeah. peace. You know, get that problem. So thank you for for Louis again like that. Really appreciate it. If you want to see more of this, um, let me know in the comment section below and try and get 50 likes. So, yeah, thank you to everyone involved with me at the moment, subscribing to me and let me do what I love best and vlogging on my team, which I love more than anything in the world. Uh, before I de died, uh, boys, you know, for sob stories, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.